Hello everybody, this is Sir Winston here on the Sir Winston Podcast. And today is episode 8, season 2. Now on this episode, I'm going to be talking about Billie Irish creativity. Now recently she won 5 Grammys at the Grammys. And she won Album of the Year. Um, And she produced this album uh, with her brother. And they both won the Grammys and they were both... Uh, sitting there and they were very happy now on this episode I want to talk about how the way she created this album because I think it was amazing this is not the conventional way of uh, creating an album going into a big studio where you have 20 musicians there and they all listen to you and they're all professionals she actually created this in her brother's apartment in his bedroom in Highland Park LA so uh, it was crazy to see that she made five Grammys. I don't think they even think about making five Grammys at the time. They were just probably thinking about just making a great album. And that's what I want to talk about right now. So one of the points that I want to kind of show is that her creativity was prime. Her creativity was prime. She didn't look at the songs as in, I'm not going to create this best sounding song. I'm going to make a creative song, you know, that speaks to the heart. So when you have music like that and it speaks to the heart, when it speaks to some of the things that you went through, it kind of it shines through the record and you can feel the soul. You can feel all the pain that's in the record. Uh, well, another thing that I want to point out is that you don't need a, a big equipment. You don't need a lot of equipment. You just need a great sounding recording as long as it's not muffled and it's just doing the basic principles of recording. I mean, she just... They probably just recorded this in his room, and they probably didn't even have sound booth or something. But, but they, they, they knew how to manipulate, manipulate the, sound the sound the way they wanted they to wanted manipulate, manipulate it. it. And a lot of people get far from that because back in the day, all the the um, all the greatest artists they used to just record in these basements. They recorded in these like warehouses. Prince recorded in a warehouse for his album, and it actually, you know, the reverb, the reverb in there was reverb. amazing. And he was loving that, you know. He wanted to use that natural reverb. So that basically, recording isn't about just recording in a big studio all the time. I mean, sometimes you want to get that pot of sound, but sometimes you want to connect with people's soul. And that's what she did here. She connected with people's soul in this record. I mean, I was listening to the record, and I mean, I connected with it. You know, I'm still listening to the record right now, and I know I'm probably late in the game, but you know. I'm always uh, big. I'm a big fan of people that put out albums that can stand the test of time. And I just put the record on and I just vibe with it. And it's one of those vibe records. And then another thing I pointed out is that, you know, she doesn't conform to the look that everybody thinks that a big superstar has. She actually looks with her baggy shirts on. She dyes her hair, she wears funky glasses, I mean, I really like her style, I mean, as an artist, I, I like that, because I'm free too, I'm, I might wear a jazz look, I might look a different way, I like to express myself through clothing, through design, and through music, so one thing that I would like to do is I like to give tips during these videos, because um, Billie Eilish, she actually inspired me because if she can win a Grammy, I can win a Grammy, and I'm saying it right now. Uh, number one is that she made me feel like you don't need this big studio to get a great product, to get something good. Number two, she makes records with her heart. She doesn't make records like, oh, this is going to sound good on the dance radio or on this radio. She makes music for the soul. And number three, she's innovative. She made sure that her sound was something that she wanted to do. Um, she didn't conform to any other label. Um, the label helped her get to what she was now, but she didn't let them take her creativity away. And that's the message that I want to give to everybody. All right, everybody, this is Sir Winston here on the Sir Winston podcast again. Um, I'm going to be giving you more videos like this one. Until then, like and subscribe. Peace.